evolution. That was the next point that you okay. brought up in the first question. Uh huh. What just <laughs> just when your kid gets home after evolution day, <laughs> tell them that was wrong, right? And show them Genesis and be like, "This is the real one." Right. Just answer the questions on the test so you get an A, and yeah. then believe this. Like, right. don't get it. Right. Yeah, I think, and I think with the evolution one in particular, again, if the teachers want to teach a theory of evolution, like, go for it. Okay? I think they need to teach it, though, as theory. Like, in other words, this is a possibility. Yeah, but does it matter that they do that? Does that really matter? I think... I think if I think if you're going to teach evolution and you have multiple religions who disagree with that, by the way, this is not just a Christian issue. Yeah. If if you're going to teach evolution, then I think you need to do it in such a manner that says we believe this is possible. And, and here's what I'm getting to with this, because if the or if you're going to if you're going to make kids take a test over evolution, mm-hmm. right? It, have them be able to write out, well, what are your thoughts on evolution? Agree or disagree? What are the points that you find convincing? What are the points I, you I don't remember, find convincing? I remember hearing somebody, it was like a maybe a pastor, go through like questions. Uh-huh. And they're like, this question just assumes you believe in evolution. It's like, well, yeah. Like, <laughs> what, what are you right. talking about? Right. Yeah, this this... Gravity question assumes Oops. that I'm able to press down on a piece of paper and answer the Gra- questions on the test. <laughs> right. Like, yeah. Like, just anyway. Yeah, but I think gravity, we all agree gravity. Sure. <laughs> we don't all agree evolution. <laughs> and, I, and I think that's what I'm getting to, though. This is what I was saying up from the very top. I don't understand why we can't give space for critical thinking. In in our uh, in when we're teaching this stuff, because most of the times you're not hearing about evolution until you get and, and like into the weeds of it mm-hmm. until you're in high school, right? And you're taking science classes there. So again, presented as a theory, here's the things that cause us to believe it to be true. Engage with it, but discuss it, Mike. Okay, so my my question is though, like. If you're right, you're okay. You're right. Okay. Like, like that would be the more appropriate way to, to discuss it. Sure. But Christians didn't send their kids to public school because of that. Right. Instead of sending their kids to public school and when they got home just saying, Hey, that's wrong. Right. Sure. Like why that? Yeah. And, and, and you're right. That could, that could, you could absolutely do that. Uh, don't, yeah. I don't get it. So yeah. what was what what was that like? Like if <laughs> well, that that was a whole thing yeah, in the nineties. Yeah, about well, public because school. I think because of the shift that was happening in the nineties, what it came across as was not just that we're going to teach evolution in lieu of creation science. We're actually going to attack creation science as well. Okay, I think that became the issue for the for parents. Was at that, that point. actually happening? Yes, in some in some sense, yes, it was. Okay, and and so you you had, and I'm not saying again, I'm not saying across the board sweeping truth. Okay, but yes, there were the, hey, we're going to teach this. If you believe in creation, that's stupid. Okay, here's actual science. Okay, yeah, honey, you're not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and so I think. That was the the feel of it was not just that creation science wasn't being taught alongside evolution anymore because evolution had been taught. Like, I don't want to come across like evolution had not been taught at this point. Okay. It, they'd just been being, they had been taught together. Okay. Creation science was now being removed. And so now it, it kind of gave the, it gave the freedom for professors te- or teachers, excuse me, to be able to say, no, that you know. Not only are we going to teach evolution, we're going to tell kids that their religion, religion is wrong. wrong. And I think that's where it crosses the line. Okay, yeah, I, I, you know, for any religion, right? Not just Christianity, but for any religion, for for a teacher to sit there and say your religion is wrong, mm-hmm. I think that's problematic. Okay, because I don't think that's the space or the sphere for it. 
in science class. In science class. Or especially in that situation where you have an you have an adult authority figure mm-hmm. telling a kid your religion's garbage or whatever. And uh, on, on on any basis. I, I think rather we and again, because then that's that's teaching kids again to just reject at hand something without it being willing reject to reject what their parents are teaching them at home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, or you know, they don't reject what their parents are teaching at home. Feel like they have to kind of. I mean, you're you know, you were fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You know, sometimes kids at that age feel like they have to just go along with what the professor says or their teacher says to make sure they get a good enough grade. Right. And I mean, most kids at that point on time don't even like doesn't even consider, you know, engaging back with their teacher and disagreeing. But there's also kids that don't care about getting good grades. And that's true too. And they can just give a flip about mm-hmm. it. Yep, no, that's very true too. Mm-hmm. Yep, fact. So, <laughs> when were the Neanderthals? The Bible. <laughs> <laughs> F you. Right. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. Who I, cares? I, I don't. <laughs> I don't.